Banished to the forest of Anjou, the young and beautiful Melusine roamed namelessly. One can only imagine what went through her mind. Was she aware that she would stumble upon a young duke and found a dynasty of which would rule Europe for over 300 years? No one knows. No one even knows if she really existed. Was she simply a myth? Or is life much more complicated than we perceive? Legends and myths are often unique to one specific region or culture. Melusine spans more than five. Celtic, French, German, Jewish, and English are among them. She is the mother of the Plantagenet dynasty and the mascot of the family motto. From the devil we come, to the devil we go. Melusine is the daughter of Priscina and King Elenus. It is said that King Elenus was drinking from the Fountain of Thirst when Priscina appeared to him. The two fell madly in love. They were married under the condition that the king may never enter her chambers before, during, nor after childbirth. A strange request, but the king agreed. Shortly after their marriage, she gave birth to triplets, three daughters, Melusine, Meleor, and Plantina. King Elenus's curiosity got the best of him, and he entered the chamber during the birth. This enraged Priscina so much that she left and took her daughters to a hidden island to be raised. When her daughters became teenagers, Priscina took them to see their father's realm. She then revealed to them the promise that he broke. This caused Melusine to take revenge on her father, convincing her sisters to help. She kidnapped and imprisoned her father in a mountain. After her mother discovers what has happened, she becomes enraged and punishes Melusine, cursing her that every Saturday for the rest of her life, she would become a half-serpent for the entirety of the day. She was then banished to the forest where she stumbled upon a handsome young count. The count was very distressed after accidentally killing his uncle during a hunt. He was unaware of what to do, but Melusine calmed him and gave him advice on how to break the news to the family. She also offered him happiness and wealth beyond compare. The Count asked her to marry him and Melusine agreed, under the condition that he never enter her chambers on Saturday. An odd request indeed, but the Count agreed. The couple had ten children, and the Countess was loved and adored by her people. She even commissioned the building of a castle. Due to pressure from his family, the Count became more and more curious about her Saturday rituals. Why would she avoid mass at the church? Was she having an affair? Finally, the Count spied on Melusine through a hole in the door. He found a serpent-like body from the waist down and a human body from the waist up, splashing in a pool of water. He was shocked and terrified. It is said that the Count made a declaration that his wife was a demon and made his opinion known immediately and publicly. Legend has it that Melusine flew out of a window and was never seen again though she was known to visit her children in the night ever so often. Melusine later became known as the Demon Countess of Anjou. Her grandson, the Count of Anjou, Joffrey Plantagenet, was the founder of the Plantagenet dynasty. The Plantagenets were seen as a dangerous and ruthless family with a ferocious temper and an unholy ancestry, resulting in paranormal talents on the battlefield. Joffrey and his descendants would shape the future of both England and France, ruling England for over 300 years. By 1113, there were five great families of France, none of which had expanded as quickly as the Plantagenets had managed to. They greatly extended their holdings through conquest and fortuitous marriages. During the Middle Ages, such remarkable successes were considered a sign of supernatural interference. Thus, the legend of the demon Countess of Anjou was born. Was she a reality in our world, or simply a story told by ambitious royals in the hunt for an edge? No one will ever know. As a descendant of the Plantagenet line myself, I can't help but wonder. It's a fun thing to think about at least. <laughs>